Biomedical science major is to prepare you and get all your prerequisites for any graduate level healthcare professional school. I've enjoyed like how deep into the sciences it is. Especially for the biomedical program, that's crucial because that's the bulk of whatever entry exam you need for your graduate school. It's always heavy in the sciences, whether it's a social science, uh, chemical science, biological science, it's always some sort of science makes up the majority of every test. So it definitely prepares you for what's to come. It's a friendly open environment, um, plus the class sizes are beneficial. Whenever you have a class the size of about roughly 15 to 25 or even less than 15, there's a lot more lenience in getting uh, your questions answered along with other students' questions because they may ask a question that you didn't think of. So you have a better chance of retaining more of the material and being able to apply it whenever you take a test or further on down into your health care career. Start off by following your family doctor or family dentist or if you're a pharmacy technician and you work for a pharmacist, like follow them around whenever you're not busy working. My major in the medical radiography program, we use highly sophisticated medical equipment um, to image different parts of the human body. One of the most fun things for me is getting to work with patients. And even though we only see them for a little bit, um, they can actually really brighten your day. Um, and I love being able to kind of explain to them what we're doing and have them, you know, explain, give us some feedback. So that's really fun. My favorite part of my clinical experience so far has definitely been working with patients and being, being able to work with other healthcare professionals, seeing how they are with the patients, what all they get to do, because it definitely helps us a lot in how we can get our images. My clinical experience has been very fun. It's, um, very, it's been very challenging, but um, we've gotten to work hands-on with the medical equipment, position patients, work on patient care, and also work with several different other um, healthcare professionals as well. The teachers are all awesome. They actually really, really want you to succeed. They're not just trying to, you know, get you through the program and let you pass. Um, they really want you to be the best that you can be. And then the classes as well really, really do prepare you for what you're going to see in the clinical site. There's a bunch of different components to lab science in healthcare, but they all kind of have a similar thing to them. If it comes out of the body, we can test it, and then from the test results, that's gonna help the doctors diagnose and form treatment plans for the patient. Using a combination of science and technology, we're able to detect diseases and uh, cancers. Uh, we can identify which um, Causative organisms can cause things such as bacterial and viral infections. I think that it's important that in order to treat patients holistically, we must work together holistically as a unit as well. When we go on clinicals, that's kind of the moment that it really clicks for most of the students between the theoretical stuff we're learning in the classroom and the lectures and actually getting to do it hands-on with real patients and real specimens. The small uh, environment here is really what drew me to the school as an incoming freshman and I think that it's one of the more unique things and it makes the experience so much better because you get to know all of your classmates, your faculty, they just can invest in your life, not just academically, but overall. The faculty here, I truly do believe we have the best faculty. I mean, they're all distinguished, overly qualified, and if you want to learn, they will help you. They will help you succeed the entire way. Sonography is just ultrasound for people who do not know. Um, so we do, here at Baptist we learn about all four types of ultrasound. So we'll do abdomen, vascular, OBGYN, and echo. So that makes it unique from other programs because they don't do that at every other program. Usually you have to choose if you want to take a vascular route or if you want to take an echo route. You're able to have all of that knowledge that you need to work anywhere in the world that you want to work. The collaboration here, it's different from other schools because you actually really do have to work with those students. In my program, we go portable a lot. We have to go do portable ultrasounds in the ICU, on the floor sometimes if those patients can't come around. And so it's kind of easier for us to know how they work and what we can do to help that patient.
So for example, um, nursing, if a patient has all these machines on them and respiratory, if they you know, are intubated, we don't know how those work. We don't know how to work those machines. And so that helps us understand, you know, if this alarm starts going off, we know who to contact, we know what to do in that situation. Nuclear medicine is an imaging procedure that um, views detailed pictures of what is actually happening in the body at a cellular level. We use radiation just like x-ray and CT does, except we internalize it in our patients and we get to see it as it goes through the body. And we like to see how the body is actually functioning. We get to not just do nuclear medicine, we, we expand and we get to see a lot of other things and we get to practice with other fields, which is really nice because we get to see how they do it and that helps us get better too. We actually work with them at clinical sites, you know, in the hospitals, we get to work with them. And um, in school, we have classes with them and like we're in, we're in classes with radiation therapy and x-ray students. I like working with the patients, getting to talk to them. We, we get to know our patients a little bit more because we spend a lot of time with them. Um, each of our procedures, is it takes a while, a few hours actually. So we get to know our patients and um, get to know what they're going through and we get to talk to them and, and that's really awesome to learn about our patients and help them. You get the best experience here at Baptist, better than any school around. Um, the, the instructors, the staff here are very considerate and they care about everything and um, they want you to succeed and this is the best school to go to around here. Um, so a health administrator is basically they're the people um, that kind of plan and facilitate um, the health services to happen. It kind of goes over a lot of the uh, business, um, the business side of healthcare. Um, as far as like finance and management. Curriculum really helps because it, it kind of gives you like the theories and um, it's, it's very broad and it teaches you really what you need to know about healthcare. And then I'm actually working an internship at Baptist Medical Group right now. So it's cool because I get to take the classes and then apply them to what I'm learning in the workplace and what I'm seeing. Actually, my boss is transitioning into becoming the CEO of the West Memphis Hospital that they're building. So the coolest thing I've gotten to do is actually go into that site where they're building the hospital and um, get to take a tour and see, you know, meet with the construction crew and see what they're doing and, and what my boss's role in and facilitating the, the growth of that hospital is. If you're interested in the business side of things and you're not, you know, you don't think the, the clinical side or nursing or anything like that is for you, just uh, just uh, maybe talk or talk to one of the advisors or the chair of the program, Dr. Rosenthal, and uh, just kind of look into it at least and see if that's something that might interest you. We focus a lot on seeing the big picture for the patient, not just one body system or one problem that's going on and seeing how we can impact them in the greatest way and that goes from what you see medically to even psychosocially and what's going on with them emotionally as well. The clinical has been a great experience, a lot of hands-on. We actually get to apply what we learn from the textbook in the clinical setting so that helps us learn and actually see what we're talking about in class. Um, collaboration is really a huge part of the nursing program here, whether it's with other disciplines. Um, first, you have to know what's going on in the classroom and you can translate that into your clinical experience. The professors here, you can talk to them. I, went, I transferred from a big university and it was really hard to get in contact with professors, but the professors here, they actually care and they want to see you succeed, but you have to want it for yourself as well. We are very highly regarded in the medical community. Um, we know what we're doing and we can do it with confidence. Radiation therapists work in oncology departments and they administer radiation to cancer patients. Uh, they sometimes see their patients on average every day for five to six weeks and they work with numerous professionals in that department such as doctors, nurses, social workers, physicists, dosimetrists, and nutritionists. 
you get to know your professors, you know the people that you're around. You're not just a number. They care about you as a person. And it's rigorous and it's hard, but it is so worth it. As a student, we get to go into the hospitals and work with the therapists four days a week. We um, get to see the patients and treat the patients alongside the therapist. And it's just been very rewarding. As far as the patients, they just get very attached to you because you can see them every day. And it's amazing when the patients come in after they're finished with treatment and they thank you for saving their life. It's very rewarding. If you have a love for people and a love for physics and science, then this is the career for you. So in the respiratory department, we spend a lot of time with patients on ventilators. Um, in the ICUs, in the various hospitals in the area. Uh, we help patients take their inhaled medications on the, the floors of the hospitals. We do collaborate with other um, programs um, and they teach us the value of um, leadership and working with others because they really want to um, hone in and teach us that um, although we're in school now, we will be um, maybe in the clinical setting, hospital setting, and we will have to work with others then. You learn in class, but once you get to the clinicals, you get to apply all of that knowledge and bring everything that you've learned from the beginning to the end, or where you're at right now, and you get to apply it to this actual patient. It's different from in lab where you have a mannequin that can't speak, can't move, to actually dealing with someone. When we're in clinic, our medical directors take the fact that we're students and help teach us specific key points. Um, we have lectures, we have physician interactions, and we're able to really fine tune our learning experience. 